I'm going to talk about how to customize the order placement interface and other trading options in the ProRealTime platform. To customize the order placement interface, click on the small wrench in the order placement interface or go to Options and select Trading Options. I'm going to move this window down so that you can see the effects of my changes on the order bar. You can activate or deactivate any type of order. For example, if you don't use oblique orders, you could deactivate the oblique limit and the oblique stop. That will give you a shorter bar, as you can see here. You can also activate or deactivate the market buttons. And for the checkboxes here that let you link your main order to a stop or a target, you can choose the type of stop between a normal stop and a trailing stop. When you choose trailing stop, TS appears here instead of S. You can also hide or display these checkboxes by checking or unchecking this box. Finally, you can set the validity of your orders. By default, there is no time limit to the validity of orders placed from this order interface. Other options are available in statistics and order display. You can choose the information that's displayed at the top of the chart, such as portfolio value, latent gain, gain today, exposure, pending orders, and position. Uncheck to hide it at the top of the chart and recheck to display it at the top of the chart. When this option is activated, it will also hide all of the information here, so portfolio value and all the others, when you hide the trading interface. You can click here to display trading icons in list windows. This will make available the trading icons you see here, which let you place orders through the order ticket from the list windows as well. Display mode is just a aesthetic choice, whether you want the orders to have lines like this or lines like this. Display historical levels of positions, trailing stop orders, and other orders means that when you move orders or positions, their historical levels will be shown with blue lines in the case of positions and with red or green lines in the case of trailing stop orders or other orders. To learn more, click on one of the links that appears on the screen.